So I'm busy in here with the help of some dogs who are getting black on their paint on their back, but you can't see it because of their brindle color. So I'm painting these lats for con some, some construction. I've been power hosing the gates and painting them black. So these are the kickboards. I missed this bit of a kickboard. So they're all being painted black to make them preserve longer. These lats are for a wall, to build a wall somewhere. Here's another gate. That little bit of picket is to go in my new lean-to shed, which is gonna have a sink for all the tour groups to come and wash their hands in. And these lats are gonna be building a partition but as you can see, this is this uh, sheep grooming apparatus is holding my um, um, stakes. So these two gates are the first two gates that are I finished painting, but I need to get some grease to put in here to grease them into those containers. So it's basically uh, a workshop in here at the moment. It is not a sheep shed. It's, I'm doing loads of painting, and then this is gonna be for the uh, sink. The uh, local plumber gave me the sink. He was ripping out another kitchen. So the sink's gonna go in here, and it's gonna go into a lean-to. So been very busy to make it good for when tour groups come again, because this is gonna be a sort of outdoor sink, so everybody can wash their hands uh, when they first arrive on the farm and wash their hands when they leave rather than using the toilet facilities, which, you know, because I only have one toilet, it takes a long time. This way it can all happen quick. But here you can see I have all my assistants. This is a, one of the gates that I've power hosed. This is a gate I've power hosed. So busy, busy, busy. So I'm going to have a lot of animals that are going to have drips of black paint on them because they want to get involved. And then old Pepper helping out as always in his quiet way. What are you doing under there? Yeah, I'll admit you're going to have black paws if you stay up there much longer. Definitely. Black pod kitty. I've got to start painting now. Can you let me get back to work? Thank you. What are you doing? You're, you're like sitting on the lats. You're gonna make a mess of the lats and pinch your toes in between them if you keep walking on them. You're really not helping. Oh, everybody's itching now. All my paint bits. Meant you're really not helping. Now you really, I really don't want you to get black toes. So you're gonna have to go find a comfortable space somewhere else. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Isn't that right? And you're being so helpful. This is Inca's favorite spot now, is sitting under here while I'm painting because she's protected. <laughs> Silly pup. Silly pup. Yeah. Now, I've got to get to work. Stop playing with me. I have to get to work. Look, why don't you all be like him and lie down still? Hmm? Hmm? Pepper still sound asleep. Inca probably has paint drops on her. Just done that. And for all of those of you who are worried, Oven Mitt has taken up his sleeping quarters on top of my blue jean jacket. So he doesn't have, uh, he might be cleaning his feet, but they're not covered in paint. Isn't that right, Oven Mitt? Hey, kitty. No paint on your toes, are there? No, he's just having a general bath. So that's so far. Lots done. You can see in my storage facility, done all these beams. These are the kickboards. 
that go down here are two boards up high for the bedding. When the bedding's in here, it keeps the bedding in. So the kickboards go all the way along the length of this so that the bedding stays here and doesn't go into the yard. So loads still to do. Stopping for a cup of coffee now. Isn't that right? Somebody stopping by with some homemade something delicious. So I'm gonna go and have something delicious coffee. Coffee with a baked good as a break from painting.